Audrey and I worked out in the yard today, and uh, I came over here and I unfortunately took down these bushes that had been dead for a while and needed to come down. And my plan is to dig up the grasses too, and maybe we can lay, I kind of would like to have some of those flat rocks and just make an area here where you, I'm just going to put like pots or something. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, but that is an idea for in the future. These over here look great. They're still doing this fine, but you know, these were just not in good shape. They died out every year. One whole section died out, so it was time for them to come down. My grass doesn't look that good either, but we haven't had a ton of rain except the other day. So maybe, maybe it looked better. Anyway, it's the evening and we are in and I am clean and I feel so much better because it was a job to get the yard done today and I needed to clean up, uh, wash things down, wash up my patio. It looks better now. Um, it, I, I don't know, I just feel so much better. And look at the amaryllis. I can't believe this. Three blooms. They are so happy. And I know I need to rotate them. So, and there's more inside there that may come out. I can't believe that we've had this kind of luck with these things. They're just gorgeous. Just beautiful. I'm so proud of them. So this is the condition of the amaryllis at this time. It had three buds and the blooms are just about to be done. So what I was up to today is I had to prepare some food to take for our um, gathering tomorrow. I'm a member of, it's called REAPS which is a retired teachers uh, organization uh, associated with TRTA, Texas Retired Teachers. And so in May, we meet my, once a month, and in May we all bring something. So I fixed uh, pecan pie muffins and um, oatmeal raisin and date cookies because this, it's a breakfast, kind of a brunch thing. And so uh, I hadn't picked up anything in the in the city, so I just fixed these today. Hope that they will be okay when we have our little gathering tomorrow. So I went to this wonderful little diner kind of a thing. It's the sweetest place. I've got to get pictures of it. And they had avocado toast. So I am trying to replicate the avocado toast with cream cheese. Uh, lime, just a little bit of butter in that mixture, and then the avocados on top with everything bagel seasoning, and then raspberry vinaigrette uh, spring salad mix. And that just looks so good, so I'm going to try and see if I can do it just like I saw at the restaurant. Well, I am off by myself today. Usually this is sister day, and this week my sister is in Dallas with her daughter, so I'm off to Emer to uh, the mm. so I'm off to the city by myself. Uh, I'm going to run a few errands. I'm going to go to an estate sale. Uh, I have a an appointment to have a bone density scan this afternoon. I need to get that out of the way, and um, just going to do a few things. Pick up some uh, lupper and maybe some things for when my daughter comes home this weekend. She's gonna come home. Uh, there's only like 17 days left of school for my husband and daughter, and then summer will come and we'll get to spend some time doing some things. My husband still works during the summer because he's in administration, but uh, my daughter will be off for a couple of months and we will enjoy time together. So let's head off. We got a beautiful rain uh, last night. Thank you, dear Lord. We appreciate it so much. Heavenly Father, 
we prayed for rain and wanted it so badly and it was the wind blew a little bit but it wasn't too bad and it gave us a really good soaking rain so grateful for that you can see on this side my trees are greening up um, on this side it's just field <laughs> and then on the other side we've got uh, the trees greening up over here the ground not so much this this side always really suffers I think because so many trees but anyway it, it's looking better and um, hopefully it will get prettier and prettier as the season goes on well one estate sale done and I picked up uh, two little teacups cute I will put those on and show you two pieces of jewelry and the rest was kind of furniture and then I have come to Lowe's and gotten some plants and I got a knockout rose six uh, daylilies a bird feeder and some bird feed uh, a little um, wind chime a hose and I think that's all a little, a little cardinal uh, pick for to replace the one that's broken from the hail so now I am headed to another estate sale before my appointment I have about an hour and a half so I think I have time to go to another estate sale but Lowe's is done well that estate sale was not much so I am now going through car wash after we've had such a nice rain and then I think I'll go to Walmart On my way home, it was a good day in the city. Traffic was pretty, pretty bad today. Not very uh, kind drivers, but I got everything done. I did my bone density scan, and uh, I could possibly hear about it tomorrow. Um, I went to Walmart. I got uh, my husband's Coke Zeros waters and we have just become fans of these honey wheat pretzels they are just fantastic so I had to replace those and then I found some um, tortilla chips that I had gotten once before and they were wonderful so I will try to show those tomorrow um, and, and show you what the pretzels look like as well so I did two estate sales Lowe's for plants and various other things Walmart I went to Ulta and picked up my favorite mascara and my eyeliner and then I'm replacing a um, makeup bag and I will show you the condition of my old one and what I purchased today and then I think that's all that I all that I did so when I come into the city we like to bring home something to eat because it's such such a rare occasion to go to town actually we, we probably go once a week or once every two weeks depending on what's going on this month it's going to be about once every week but since Suzanne is coming home for the weekend I wanted to get a variety of food <laughs> and because I couldn't decide what I wanted I just got something of everything so I got Kate's chicken a six piece uh, meal that we could share and it's warmed over beautifully in a toaster on reheat I got barbecue from a, a pretty famous barbecue place in our city it's called Dyer's barbecue and I get sausage for my husband half a rack of ribs for him I don't touch those or the sausage I will not touch very many um, I just don't like pig meat at all. I don't eat any kind of except bacon. I will do bacon occasionally, but sausage, no. Uh, pork loin, 
pork chops. I've never had it. I just don't have it. I don't like it, <laughs> and I don't have it. But I get it for him because he likes it. And then I got chopped brisket, a pint of potato salad, and some of their good beans. They have other things that I could get, but that's probably enough. And then we have a wonderful burger place that we love. It's called Blue Sky. And I got two cheeseburgers that are also heated just fine in the toaster to reheat. And sweet potatoes fries. Oh my gosh, I love sweet potato fries. And then for my husband, I got a Taco Villa, a combination burrito, and a bean burrito. So we can all just kind of decide what we want uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, and then Saturday when we're just kind of chilling out. And then I rarely do this, but on occasion, I will get me a Starbucks. And what I always get, and thank you to uh, Angie <laughs> Kato, because I always order your drink order, except I have to have decaf. So this is a grande decaf white mocha with caramel syrup and caramel drizzle. And I just, I love it. It's very tasty. And I can't have the whole thing even decaf because the just that little bit of caffeine that's still there bothers me a little bit, plus probably the mocha as well. Because I'm kind of caffeine sensitive. So I will get it hot and sip on it on the way home and then put it in the refrigerator and I sip on it uh, nearly all week long. And you probably think, you mean it stays good that long? It really does. It's fine. So it's good hot. It's good cold. And it's just that extra little taste treat of a coffee, you know, uh, flavor to finish out a meal or finish out breakfast or something like that. It's just kind of fun. So anyway, that's what I picked up to bring home. And I'm about, oh, three miles from turning to go to my home. Um, I got gas also in the city. It was, I always try to find the cheapest gas I can. And at this time, it's $2.99. So I'm going to see what it is up here at our corner. Sefco is what it's called. And see if I saved any money that way. But it was kind of lonely today. I missed my sister very much. She did call and uh, told me about a concern and a prayer request. So I'm th thinking of that and going to do that. And a um, lot's been going on lately. It's just been kind of, uh, it seems like when May comes, it's difficult school-wise for my family. And it's difficult for my other family members who are finishing their school as well. Um, th there's just a lot to do in May. I remember that as a teacher. May was just, I had to have a list. I have to have a list. I had to have a list at the beginning of school and I had 40 things, you know, that I checked off before the kids came. And then at the end of the year, I probably had 30 things to check off and just make sure that I had done before I left for the summer and still had to sometimes go up there in the summer um, you know so uh, school teaching education is just uh, it's more than anybody would, would ever understand unless you're a teacher so not that any other jobs any less I'm not saying that I'm just saying I've done a couple of other jobs and teaching is the most difficult, definitely. So, anyway, busy times. Um, I've kind of got something interesting and fun coming up next week. I am going to go to my sister's uh, town, which is actually my hometown, 
and I'm going to help her in her shop. We, we cleaned up the front room of her shop. We're going to clean up the other two rooms in her shop and get them organized and, and fixed up. And then that night, I'm going to Suzanne's in her town and stay with her because the following night, we're going to go to the high school choir concert. We went last year and it was, it was fabulous, fantastic. So we're gonna do it again. It was really, 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 really good. And so that's what's going on next week. And then of course, Mother's Day will be next Sunday. So I'm going to bring Suzanne home with me and uh, that way we can kind of be together and then we're gonna take her home on Sunday so that she can finish school. I'm getting ready to lose my camera, I think. Maybe not. Anyway, I can't decide whether to go to the post office or not. I may wait. I could go to the post office if I go for my walk. It's finally sunny. We've been waiting for the sunshine and it finally came out. It was rainy this morning and just kind of sprinkled off and on, which is unusual, but we'll take it. We love it. But kind of gloomy and cloudy and sprinkly and my hair was nice and straight this morning, but it's not now. <laughs> it's nice and curly and wavy, but that's just what happens to curly hair when you get in the humidity. So anyway, I am almost to my house, turning some corners, and I'm gonna unload everything that I got today, and we'll go in and, and have what we call a lupper, which is a kind of between lunch and supper, and uh, that way we don't have to, you know, eat. I, I'm just never really that hungry, but you know, having the meal in that part of the day, I do enjoy that because, you know, I, we've never been the kind of family that eats three meals a day. I do have breakfast. I used to not, when I taught school, I did not eat breakfast, which was a mistake, but I didn't. And for lunch, when I taught school, I had almonds and peanut butter crackers. Also a mistake. <laughs> and then I would be starving when I got home. So now, being home, I eat breakfast, I eat my fruits, yogurt, whatever little sweet thing I might have. And then we have an in-between meal between lunch and dinner, or some people say supper. And that seems to be just fine and enough. I might finish the day with um, a cutie orange. Those are wonderful. I might have some popcorn. So here are the daylilies. They're gonna be really pretty when I get them planted because I have lots and lots of daylilies in my backyard. I got some waving potato chips, baby lays, potato chips, here is the blue chips that I was talking about. They're called Garden of Eaton blue chips. They're blue and they are fantastic. And then here's our favorite uh, braided honey twists. They are really fantastic. Here's my knockout rose that I'm going to plant. And I got a garden hose back here and some bird seed and a new feeder for my little birds that I think will work out really well because they're having trouble with their little feet holding on to the edge. And then I got um, some petunias. I think they're called petunias. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's something that I will hang up. So this is what I need to carry in from what I got at Lowe's in the grocery store. It is another day. I just finished getting ready and uh, doing some washing, um, changed my clothes. Uh, this little t-shirt came from Target um, last year. I just love all the Target graphic tees and this one just made me feel very springy. So I am ready to start my day. 
I know that I have talked about this, but uh, while I'm in my bathroom, I just wanted to mention it again. This Tarte C of Wink of H2O is the most wonderful thing for under your eyes. It's just incredible. Um, I went to purchase it at my local Sephora and they were changing things out and said that this formula was going to change, which just made me heart sick. So I got on eBay and I ordered three. I gave one to my sister and then kept two for me. I cannot be without this. It is that good for under the eyes. And then I've been using the vitamin C serum that has the hyaluronic acid in it. Uh, this is the one I'm currently using right now. It is by Melaleuca, which my sister sell, sells called Cybella. And it's the vitamin C serum that you put on at night. I've tried two different kinds and this one is okay. My favorite one is the one that I got um, in a box from BoxyCharm and I love it. And I can link that if anybody needs to know what it was, but <clears throat> I seriously recommend vitamin C serums because it just makes your skin so uh, clear and uh, gets rid of wrinkles, I think. I seriously think it does. And then I was at a TJ Maxx when we went on our vacation to Albuquerque, and I just kind of wanted to go over to their skincare products and see what they had, vitamin C-wise, because if you've ever purchased vitamin C serum, it's extremely expensive. <laughs> I mean, upwards from... $40 to hundreds of dollars, they had one. And I only buy the ones that have hyaluronic acid. And I only use this one on my neck. Uh, I like to use the better ones on my face. So uh, vitamin C and Wink of H2O, those are my skincare products that I'm highly, highly loving at this time. Yeah, you may look at me and go, <laughs> Honey, you don't look that great. But for aging skin, I keep telling everybody my age. I'm 65. I think for 65, um, my skin is doing really well. And I really am going to attribute it to taking care of it. And uh, the vitamin C has just helped tremendously, especially um, under the eyes. You know, I mean... I have a worry line right here that has gotten less noticeable because of the wink of H2O. I don't know if, you know, but you know, as we age, we get these little lines and they just become more apparent. And you want to try to do as much as you can to look as young as possible, if, you know. So I do highly re recommend those things if you're looking for skincare items. My bed all made, everything's kind of picked up and cleaned up. My housekeeper keeper came yesterday and you're probably going, you have a housekeeper? Yes, I do. That is my treat to myself after teaching for 29 years. So we're gonna go in here and look at what I got from Ulta yesterday. I just love how everything is so fresh and organized and clean. And I try to keep it that way, you know, um, every day. But it's just nice for everything to be fresh and clean when she comes to visit. So let me get out my Ulta uh, purchases and we'll take a look. Does anybody else ever get excited when you've been to Ulta? This is a really nice bag, so I'm going to fold it up and keep it and use it for something. Okay, this is what I got at the estate sale. I am obsessed with teacups, as I have shown in the past. And this little teacup thing is just adorable. I just went nuts. Um, I usually try to look for uh, teacups that are made in a foreign country. And this one says Paragon, I believe is how you say it. H.M. The Queen and H.M. Queen Mary, Fine Bone China, England. And then it has, um, you know, like a number on it. And I'm not sure what that is right here. But anyway, uh, English China. Yes, 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 yes. And then here's the other one that I got. 
isn't that just beautiful? I mean, if you love blue as much as I do, then this just like makes my heart sing. So I just could not think of not getting these. And they were $6 a piece, which for teacups, if you go to an antique store, uh, you know, teacups can be $25 for the set and up. No. So I like to find them at estate sales. Now, do I have any room to put them? No. <laughs> I mean, my little table over here is filled. And my area up here where I keep my um, little head bases is, you know, filled with teapots. And then I have other teacups all over the house. It's just, I'm, I'm crazy. I've got them in different places. I just set them all over the house. You know, they're, they're just everywhere. But, um, and I even like the Chinese uh, teacup things. That's one set. I'm not going to go over the whole house and show you all of my teacups. But um, anyway, I just, I love them. They make me happy. And so I don't know what my daughter's going to do with them when I'm gone. But she can sell them, whatever she wants to do. But that's, that's what I got at the estate sale. And then I picked up some jewelry. This little piece was, I believe, $10. Which, you know, I mean, it's really, really long. And it has crystals and real shiny. I, I just thought it was really cute. Um, this is how long it is. I mean, look, it's just like, that is just so cool. And can be wrapped and or taken apart if I want to, you know, make, usually that's what I give state jewelry for is to take apart and do my own thing. But I, I may just leave these. This one was $8. And again, it's very, very long, but I loved the chains because I used quite a few chains in my jewelry. And I thought I can take it apart if I want to, or I can just leave it, <laughs> which I may just leave it because it's so, so pretty and little crystal balls on it. I don't know. I may not do anything with it. Anyway, that was the uh, estate sale. And then at Ulta, I purchased my favorite cotton pads, the exfoliating kind. Um, I got my favorite, current favorite, mascara. They're real magnetic. And then I noticed that the Too Faced Perfect in one, Perfection in One Stroke Eyeliner, hate the name of it, just hate it. I just, oh, come on. You know, good grief. Uh, but I love the liner. It does a wonderful job. And I have been using it in black, which I think is a little overpowering for my skin. Well, now they have come out with a chocolate, chocolate eyeliner, which is probably going to look much better than the harsh black on me. So I'm excited to try that. And then I had said that my old... Um, makeup case that I take on every trip I've ever been on is beginning to show its wear. Girls, <laughs> I have had this thing since my daughter was a baby. She's 35 years old and I'm not even kidding. And it's just now this year done this. I don't know why this year, but all of a sudden it just decided to go, okay, we're done. Look, I don't know. I don't know when that happened. I don't know where it happened. It. I didn't take it on the airplane. I don't know, but I have been able to just. You know, it's it's the kind of fabric that you can just use a damp cloth and wipe it off. So I am so tremendously sad because it has the little carrier here. But this is my favorite part. When I'm traveling in an airport, and I used to just carry this with me before all of the. Uh, specifications happen where you had to show your liquids. This came with me like a purse on the airplane if I traveled and of course in the car. And so it was a shoulder strap with a little guard, you know, to help, help it stay on your shoulders. And it was made by, uh, it says celebrity on here. Let's see what it says down here. Celebrity. Who knows? I mean, I haven't even tried to look it up and see if I could find another one like it. But it is time for it to go to the trash. It has seen its day. 
So I'm getting ready to take everything out and change it to what I got at Ulta. Don't know if I love it or not. I do like the quilted uh, part of it, and it is a caboodle brand. Um, and I do like the fact that it has little feet on the bottom to protect. And this is also going to be the kind of fabric that you can just, you know, damp cloth it and wipe it off. So it has a double zip opening here on the top where you could lay it out on a cabinet and just go after it with your, with your makeup. Little pockets here, a removable uh, wet, dry, uh, plastic thing here, a netted area here. I mean, I'm going to be able to put just quite a few things in here. Um, pockets on the side and same thing on the other side, a little mirror. I mean, that's not a great mirror, but whatever. And, you know, it, it's okay. I think it will be fine. It was a little pricey. Like, I think it was like $45 somewhere along in there. I don't really remember. But, you know, I have my layout ones and I have my bag smart and all of that. And I love that. But I needed one that I can just pop and carry when we go on. Like we, we travel a lot. We don't. But, you know, I needed something that was about the size of this one. So I'm going to trade everything over and say goodbye to this one with heart sickness because, oh my gosh, I just... I loved it. It was such a good, sturdy makeup case. Makes me ill. And we'll go with this one. So I'm getting ready to start my day. My daughter should be here um, in a bit. I'm going to go work on some jewelry and check in with you a bit later. And the top of my old one unzipped. It had this little section right here that unzipped. And inside there was a mirror, which of course I never used. But these places to put, you know, whatever you wanted to. Um, a lot of times I just put my hair accessories in here. And then the rest of my makeup, of course, was in here. And it even came with this jewelry. Or I call it a little jewelry accessory uh, pouch, which I'm going to keep. I'm going to put that in the new one. Because there's nothing wrong with it. But anyway. I'm gonna transfer everything over. I keep uh, our silk pillowcases when we travel. Here's my um, organizing makeup. Uh, you know, this is one of those that you just pull out and it opens up and then you draw string it back up. My uh, thing that keeps the uh, beauty blender and an e-bag thing for my facial stuff. Anyway, it was just, oh, it was just the nicest little bag. I am just heart, heart sick. It had, a, you know, storage areas on both sides. It was wonderful. Anyway, on to new.